I am so happy today. So I've been sitting on this video for some time, I have to admit, but I can't contain it anymore because I am actually legit excited for this upcoming movie. In case you guys have not heard, there was a rumor that there was going to be another Transformers movie put out sometime soon. No, God, please, no, no, no! And of course, the inside child in me knowing that Transformers is directed by Michael Bay was thinking, not again, not again, not again! But that's when the magic happened. Here I was browsing through YouTube, as is a common occurrence in my house, and I come across an official trailer for the movie Bumblebee. That's right, Bumblebee is confirmed getting his own standalone movie, and I wouldn't have believed it until I actually saw physical, tangible proof in the form of a trailer. Official trailer listed down in the description for you guys who have not seen it yet. That being said, I'm gonna kick off this video with the most exciting news about this upcoming movie. Michael Bay is not directing. Yes! 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 Now don't get me wrong, the Transformers movies have made a ton of coin and Michael Bay has gotten some good recognition. I mean, honestly, in my opinion, Michael Bay has crapped over two memories from my childhood. Original G1 Transformers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Trailers look awesome, but then the movie, in my opinion, stinks. So this movie stars a newcomer I have not heard about, Haley Steinfeld. Haley Steinfeld will be playing the role of Charlie Watson. Who is this girl? I don't know. What's her point in the movie? I don't know. Aside from the fact that apparently she's the one who finds Bumblebee. It's very clearly shown down there in the trailer. The point of the movie that got me very, very excited was this part right here. Between man and machine. He's a f***ing Volkswagen Beetle. Sorry, I just joy chasmed all over you. I apologize. I'll try to contain myself, but he's a Volkswagen. I get the Camaro look was awesome. It made all of us, including myself, want to go out and buy a Camaro. They're showing you the roots. They're going back to what Bumblebee truly was back in the first episode of Transformers G1. Now, Haley Steinfeld won't be alone as pro WWE wrestler John Cena is actually going to be in this film as checking Agent Burns. So once again, I guess some high and authoritative government agency is up to capture Bumblebee. I honestly hope that John Cena does a wonderful job. I don't particularly mind his acting. I think he can do pretty decent. But I hope he goes more in a Josh Demel kind of way from the first Transformers movie and is that agent that comes over to the side of good and fights with the Transformers against the impending doom. So let's talk a little bit about the director, Travis Knight. Now, he doesn't have a lot of directing credit. Uh, mainly, he's been kind of like a lead animator or supervising animator since uh, the year 2000. So it's not that he's new to the whole, you know, Hollywood type industry. But, you know, at the same time, this is going to be his apparently only second foray into the directing ring. So. Please, Travis Knight, don't crap all over my childhood. I beg you. So this is gonna be kind of like a prequel thing. We're going all the way back to 1987 here. Maybe it's when Bumblebee was first found, but there's not a really official synopsis. Basically, it's back in 1987. Bumblebee's found by this 18-year-old girl, and both of them are trying to find their place in the world or something like that. So. Hopefully a more official synopsis comes out as the movie gets closer to release time, which is Christmas 2018. So happy, happy Christmas to everyone out there who's been wanting a new Transformers movie, not under Michael Bay. So if the news of a new Bumblebee movie and a new director taking the helm doesn't get you all excited, maybe this will. Confirmed 
voices, which I can only hope will lead to appearances in this film. So we get Charlie Adler voicing Starscream. We also have Jess Harnell voicing Barricade. And of course, the almighty of almighty voice actors out there, Peter Cullen. And if you don't know who that is, shame on you. That's right, Optimus Prime himself is slated to come back. Maybe we'll get the old school 80s semi version of Optimus. I would personally love to see that. Please make this happen. It would make so many fans happy. So that's all we got for you for Vision All Access. Let me know down in the comments, are you guys excited about the new Bumblebee movie coming out Christmas 2018? Personally, I am definitely gonna go see it in theaters. Um, just the fact that he's a Volkswagen uh, is gonna make me wanna go see this on the big screen. But yeah, let me know. You guys excited, not excited? What movie are you waiting for to come out later on this year? Links down below for how you can get in touch with me, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to also pay attention to the Insta story as I'm there in between videos, usually trying to put some content up. So please hit subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like button, just hit everything in front of you right now. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Vision All Access. Peace! <laughs>